What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to talk about my three favorite stories from the draft, uh, involving actual draft picks, uh, not the trades or anything else. Uh, two of them involve the Boston Bruins, of course. Uh, be wrong not to. Uh, first one is uh, the Malcolm Subban going to the Bruins. I think that's really cool. I think uh, it's kind of a reach drafting a goalie there, but you know, down the line he could develop into something, and maybe him or Tuka gets moved for a great package in return, or you know, maybe he turns into a you know, great bona fide two-headed monster between the pipes with Tuka and uh, Subban. And obviously, uh, his brother, uh, not exactly a fan favorite in Boston, uh, Montreal Canadiens defenseman, number 76, P.K. Subban, uh, the dive master general, uh, as the Bruins fans will call him. And he, he's kind of gotten past that, but he still, need to, he still needs to grow up a little bit with that. But, you know, great play nonetheless. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool down the line when they play against each other, Boston versus Montreal. It doesn't need to get any more intense, but it just did. Uh, the second one is uh, Stefan Matto. Matto, Matto, Matto. One of the greatest calls in the history of uh, hockey, in my opinion, which set up uh, one of the great series uh, from one of the great series. The Eastern Conference final set up the Cup finals. Uh, Jersey and the Devil, uh, Jersey and the Rangers, and then obviously uh, the Rangers of Vancouver. Two great series, two set, thrown seven games. Uh, Matto's son, also Stefan, going to the uh, New Jersey Devils. Kind of a wow. You know, it's something you don't see every day. And, you know, Stefan will be coaching his son up in the queue this year. Pretty cool story. I mean, yeah, it just, I, I just find it funny. I think he has done a lot of see Matteo playing for the Devils. and be like, come on. You know, his old man ended up, oh, and they still went on with three cups and with that core nucleus, uh, the Devils core nucleus. So, I think she won it the next year, 95. So, there you go. And uh, my favorite story, hands down by a mile, is uh, Matt Grizzlick going in the third round of the Boston Bruins. Obviously, uh, Charlestown kid, my mom is from. Uh, my mom actually knows his parents a little bit, so small world. Uh, but, you know, just very similar background. I mean, his father, this is what makes it kind of cool. More of a cliche, but makes it very cool. Uh, his father does a bull gang for the garden, you know, changing it over from the ice to the, the parquet over the Boston Garden, and he's been doing that for like 40 years. So, uh, you know, now the, the son's a Bruins draft pick, and I think it'd be really cool. Uh, he's going to be at BU next year. You know, win a natural championship with BU and then win the Stanley Cup with the Bruins as I talk you know, down the line. That'd be awesome. That'd be a great story. And his father had a great quote in the Boston Herald today. Uh, he's, if he ever complains about the ice, he's the only player I can ever slap upside the head. So, uh, pretty cool. And I just think it's a very good thing to see. I think, you know, good working class fa uh, family having the fruits of the label rewarded by having their son drafted by, a, you know, the hometown team. And hopefully, you know, Bruins kind of reached for him a little bit in the third round, but I don't think they'll regret it. I'm really excited to see what he can do next year as a Terrier. I, I, you know, I think he's going to be another, you know, Wasowski of sorts. And, uh, you know, undersized, but not lacking in skill, a skating ability. And I think he's really going to shine next year on the on the BU blue line and definitely show uh, the other teams why, they, you know, they're going to regret passing on him. You know, he's that good of a player. And it'll uh, help the Bruins in due time. And what better than a Charlestown kid out there? You know, like I said, we brought similar backgrounds, both uh, middle class from a city, Boston. And, you know, it, it, and like I said, you know, that's kind of a cliche, but it's still pretty cool to see someone who came from something like you did having success and going to the hometown team. I think we all wish we were every kid in Boston wishes they were drafted by the Bruins. Uh, well, no, not me. I wanted to be drafted by the National Predators or the Florida Panthers or Tampa Bay Lightning. I was a uh, hipster, as they call it. But, uh, you know, that's, that's it. But, uh, you know, that's all i got to say. I thought, three pretty cool stories. Let me know what you guys have to think of your favorite stories from the draft. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.